Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th, Monday through Thursday. Now, you know that I'm going to be using for the for the week, I will use my Radley Ballantyne Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will pull one from my Radley Ballantyne Guardian Angel. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, this is just the introduction. You're going to find this on all the videos. This is where I go through certain dates and just kind of let you know what's happening just in general throughout the universe. But I will also do another reading, and that will be through my Wait Riot. <laughs> my Wait Rider tarot deck, more of the traditional tarot deck, and my Colette. Baron Reed, the good tarot. I still have to look for her because I want to call her Colleen so many times. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I'm also a Reiki Master 3, so I open myself to higher power, God, Holy Spirit, and just let whatever needs to come through, come through. So, let's see what we've got going on. And do I have my glasses? Because you know I can't see too, too, you know, I can't read too much with this. Okay, so we've talked about on the last reading um, in the introduction that 24th is the end of the Mayan calendar year. There's a lot of different calendars. We've got the Gregorian, we've got the Chinese, we've got the Astrological, we've got the Mayan or the Aztec um, years. So t uh, the 24th, the end of that year. So then we have the 25th, which is the day outside of time, very highly psychic, um, very highly intuitive. It is a time of great contemplation. And then we start the new Mayan year on the 26th. On the 28th, we have Jupiter, which is in, which is in Aries, going retrograde at 4.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, it doesn't just go like, you know, it's not just like a switch. So it's been slowing up, it gets, it's slow, and then it starts to, you know, appear to move backwards. And on the 28th at 1.54 p.m. Eastern Time, we have the new moon in Leo. So very good time, for, and we are in Leo season, so very good time for you to put out your um, requests it does start new seasons. It's a good time to start new jobs. It's a good time to just, um, you know, turn that new leaf over, okay? Put that out there. Now, the Leo new moon is known to be the time when what is called the Lion's Port Portal, um, which is generally, it's all fully opened around 8-8, um, August 8th, that this is when it starts to open, Okay, now there's been some little changes with the calendar, so sometimes I'll hear that it's like the 26th, the 27th, but it generally starts with the Leo new moon. And it's, you know, the star Sirius, uh, the Palladians, um, all of this energy, the sun, this is a very big thing. Um, it is one of those thinning of the bales. Uh, it is one where you may find that you're having a lot of astral projections going on. It is a time when just anything could happen, especially especially August 1st. Now, it won't just be August 1st. It might start, I keep thinking it's more the 29th, 30th. Um, Uranus, which is in Taurus right now, but they're going to be conjuncting together. So there's going to be a lot of power with that. So we will see what we will see here. I have been posting the, uh, so there's, there's a lot of stuff going on this week, a lot of starting. I've been posting some of the Shaman Resonances. Um, I, I really post them when I see them, the spiking really hard. You know, this is a, it's like a space weather correlation with that. Um, now, I am, you know, I am a former labor and delivery nurse, long time back, and I was looking at it, uh, you know, I was looking kind of at the pattern, and even though it's a daily thing, I was thinking, oh, kind of reminds me of the strips that I would see when somebody would be in labor. Just saying. And tomorrow it may not be that way, but it did look very strong. The energies were very strong. So follow me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and on the community page. You know, again, so do that. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. 
I do post, I try to post everything on all three platforms because I know a lot of people aren't on Facebook or Instagram. So I do try to post it on uh, the community page also. So interesting stuff. Where is that going to lead us? You know, we don't really know. There is so much change happening. We feel it so strongly. We feel it so strongly. You know, people are getting, you know, very um, physical manifestations with this too. And, you know, not to say, I'm not, I'm not telling you not to see your doctor or your healthcare person or whoever that is for you, but we just have been feeling lots and lots of changes and lots of this energy. So we have, so, you know, mask higher power, source, God, what we have going on. And, you know, especially for this week of the 25th, let's see, we've got two cards that are face up that kind of felt that fell out and let's see what we have. Oh, all righty. So. We have, remember, numbers are important. Numbers can be used for darker energies, but we are light workers. We are star seeds, so we're going to be pulling those and pulling them into the lighter energies. So now we have six. Six is the number of man. It's the energies that we put into something. Now we can put, some, you know, if we put our energy into something that's negative, we will get negative back. If we keep our vibrations very, very high, and especially with these resonance has happening especially with all this intense energies and there's there's other things going on in the heavens too you know it's just it's just we're being bombarded almost every day again kind of like those contractions too so now six number of man now we have the pentacles here pentacles is earth energy it is your capricorn it is your taurus now remember pluto i think pluto is retrograde right now in capricorn it's going to be there just for a little bit more. Um, we also have Taurus. And again, remember what I was saying about Uranus and Taurus. Virgo. Virgo is our next sign over. So our next season to come. So this is our earth, our money, our job, our career. Uh, it could also be your home. It's very, very tangible. Now the six of pentacles. I do love this because this is money from unexpected sources. These are things that are, you know, this is money coming to help take care of us. Now, in some ways, this card, you know, with the, um, you know, with the rider deck, this card is a little bit different than some of the other ones, too. This one is we have to go and ask for the money, or we, we could either be the supplicants or we can be the providers, okay? We can be the ones giving or we can be the ones get receiving. Um, the thing about it is we do have our we do have our scales there. We do have our justice there. So I'm not saying, I don't know if they're weighing things, um, but again, uh, there is there is money that is coming. It doesn't necessarily mean that we are, um, you know, I, again, which, which way are we? Are we the provider? Are we the supplicants? Are we the ones that are asking for the money? Are we the ones giving the money? Generally speaking, I feel like it's us asking for the money. Now, remember too, you know, if you don't ask, you don't receive, you don't, you know, the answer, you, you don't ask, answer is always a no. You ask, it could still be a no, but it could be a yes. So try, try. If this is a, if you're looking for that job, try, okay? If you're going on the interview, try. This is the whole thing of this week. I think you just have to keep trying, no matter how it feels to you. Um, you know, this is, again, too, maybe it's about a, it's a pride thing, um, but this, there is a little bit of answered prayers with this energy also that I'm receiving. Okay, so let's see. Now we have temperance. Temperance has balance to it. Now it's not necessarily, you know, in some ways you want to look at it as justice, but this is about balance. This is keep seeking and keeping that balance in ourselves. This is a 14. Now we have a, you know, I break it down and I bring it to the lowest number. So we have that one has a new beginning, um, new start. We have a four. Four is stability. Four is um, organization leadership. Add the one and four together, it's five. Five is about change, positive, negative. Temperance is, you know, keep cool, stay cool, stay calm. Let the, you know, let things happen. Let things flow together. Be patient. Things are happening. Things are working themselves out. So I would say that, you know, maybe the money isn't necessarily the greatest money coming in. Maybe it's not the answer to all prayers, but it's going to be enough to get you by. And the, or the universe is enough to get, thing, get things by, get people by, get whatever's going on. Be patient. 
Temperance is about, you know, not leaning too much one way or the other, not leaning too much towards anger, but yet not leaning too much towards, um, you know, just, you know, giving up either. Okay, so interesting with this week with that. I do like, I do like that Six of Pentacles energy too, but again, it's depending on this relationship. There is a relationship that we have to watch. I'm a little cautious with this one. I like it, but I'm a little cautious with it. Next card is, now we have the 17. Again, we have that one energy. We have a 10 energy. 10's our transition, so 10 plus 7. Now, 0 of the 10 is God's source energy, so higher power energy. We have that 7. 7 is the divine umbrella, divine um, covering, divine protection. 1 plus 7 is an 8. Eight has a lot of opportunity, a lot of possibilities. Eight's a very powerful number. Now we have the star. So the star, these two are universal energies, major arcana energies, big energies. These are, you know, some of this is stuff that maybe we don't necessarily uh, deserve. But, you know, there's also the thing with number five. Five also is for grace. And grace is, we may not deserve it but it's still provided for us. It's kind of like a good parent with their child and, you know, and they're, you know, and I say good parent because I know that many have had not good parents. So it's kind of like the parent that does provide even if the child um, has, you know, even if the child's been a little bit on the naughty side, okay? So I don't know, is that really a good parent or not? I don't know. Tough love? Maybe, maybe not. But the star is all about hope. The star is about positive. The star is about wishing upon a star. And, you know, especially since we have that on the 28th, that new moon. So positive energy. Remember, full moon to new moon is waning. It's getting smaller. Release, release, release. New moon to full moon as it is waxing, it's getting bigger. Accept, accept, request, request. Okay? So there's something, I mean... Again, I'm not quite sure with this pentacles if we need to apply for this money or if this money is going to be divinely um, inspired or divinely provided. Um, it is, again, you know, but we do have these, and these are two very divine energies, so it could be divinely um, provided, okay? Something going on with the money situation this week, this, uh, this week and there's, um, you know, there's some divine intervention going on. Okay, let's see what we've got here with the Colette Baron Reed cards. Higher power, okay, higher power. Do you want that one out? Sure. Here we go. Let's see. The nine of earth. So now we have nine. Uh, earth is, again, the pentacle energy. So, um, you know, so it's a money, job, career. That Capricorn. And remember, Pluto is, re you know, is retrograde. And, you know, that Uranus uh, in Taurus, there are things that could be um, brought up, things that could be dug up, things could, that could be, um, you know, very inspired energy in that tangible. So nine, you've got everything you need. Let's wrap it up. Um, you know, what are you going to choose? What are you going to decide? What are you going to do with it? Okay. So the nine of earth actually has a very positive um energy to it. The nine of earth has this provisional energy to it. The nine of earth says that, you know, it's kind of like that wish cup, wish card, which is the nine of cups, but it's more in the earthly plane. It's more in that tangible. So again, you know, stay, stay firm, stay strong, but money is there, the security of money. Now that's the thing, you know, it's not, um, you know, it's not the love of money. It's when you love money more than anything else that is really the true, um, the true evil and when you'll do anything for money. But this is not that energy. This is more the, you know, hey, we need a roof over our heads. We need some food in our bellies. Um, it'd be nice if we had a, a good job that we liked and that liked us too. So there is some money provisions going on here. Um, there is some divine interventions going on with our money situation. We will see what we will see. Um, I'm okay with that, and, you know, the one thing about this card is, too, is she has a mask on, which I never really noticed. She has a mask on, so there's a sense of mystery about this. So the mystery, I think, again, has that divinity, that divine energy to it. So we will see what we see, 
And two, remember we have, we've talked about the earth sign. There is also our fire sign, um, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, I told you that Jupiter is going retrograde on the 28th. We are in Leo season. There is the Leo new moon, Sagittarius. It's pas- This is all passionate, burning, very determined energy. We talk about the air energy, which is Aquarius, um, Gemini, and Libra. Saturn is in Aquarius still. It, it, you know, things are going to start changing up, but Saturn is in Aquarius right now. And, you know, illusion versus um, reality. You know, what is real? What is what has fake type of energy? And that would be, again, that's our air or swords. And then we have our water or our cup energy, and that is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Fluid and emotional energy. A lot of Scorpio energy going on right now. And, you know, we, we do have Neptune retrograde in Pisces. So there's a lot of that mysterious um, mysterious depth type of energy with that. Okay, anyway, why don't we go ahead again, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, and why don't we start... Oh, and by the way, I will put the, um, the timestamp in the description for when you can... Just bypass all of this. Okay, thanks. We'll be there in just a second. Hello, my Pisces, and how are you? Well, let's see what we've got going here with the for this week. This week, is, so let's see. What do we have anything of interest? I do think that it's if you are starting that project that we've been talking about. I still feel for my Pisces that there is a lot of growth ahead of you, in not just your. Um, spirit well in your spirit too there's a lot of spiritual growth there's a lot of financial growth coming for you too I do feel that I feel there's going to be opportunities for you to make money and I know we've talked about like progressing 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 I do feel like there's just a lot of financial opportunities out there for you you just have to stop I don't know procrastinating or maybe um, is it are you procrastinating or is it that you just don't have a lot of faith in yourself I don't know but I do think there's a lot of possibilities for you. Anyway, let's see what else higher power has to say for my Pisces. Okay, one, two, three. Now that could also be, you know, that my husband's a Pisces. So <laughs> oh, is he procrastinating? Okay, let's see who this might resonate for. Let's see. First card is a leap of faith. Believe. I told you. I told you. You have to believe. This is the fool card. This is the going after it. You may not understand why. Faith is not understanding a lot of things. It's just doing it because your gut's telling you to, because whoever you're listening to, hopefully it's higher power, the source, is telling you, go for this. Do it. This is a start of a new beginning, a new job, a new career, a new life. And you just have to believe. You have to just have confidence. You just have to go for it. Okay? Like I said, I feel like there's opportunities out there. Whether you are, you know, in your late in your teens, your 20s, your 80s, your 90s, there's more to life. Go for the gusto. Grab. Yeah, that's an old beer commercial, right? Kind of okay. Anyway. Go for it. Do don't don't just think that you have to stop. This is the time for you to just you know hey, I'm just living. I'm living and I'm living big. Okay, but again, I do feel that there is a lot of possibilities and opportunities out there for my Pisces. The thing about it though is I think you have to make those opportunities happen. So we have a zero God Source Energy. That's that number. Uh, Metatron, believed to have been Enoch, before the flood, walked, talked with God, transfixed to the heavens, um, and made into an archangel Metatron. Now, the leap of faith, though, I do love the leap of faith. I love the dog. I love that, you know, he he may not necessarily be ready, but he's going for it. Anyway, believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's not about the money, but maybe it's about you doing what you love. Anyway, next card is the High Priestess. Now, so the, as the, you know, the journey of the Fool goes through all of these, you know, the major arcana, there's 22 major arcana cards, 
And, you know, the first that they meet is the magician, but then they come to, the, the fool comes to the high priestess. The high priestess, we have a two. Two is a crossroads, is a decision, is a joining. The two is the is saying, you know what, I'm going to believe in something greater than myself. The magician said, hey, believe in something greater than yourself. And the high priestess comes to the, you know, when the fool comes to the high priestess, the leap of faith, it's like I need, in order for me to get through whatever it is I have to get through, I have to be connected. I have to have that connection with higher power. I have to believe that what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Now, the thing about the high priestess, the high priestess never gives you more than what you can understand or that you can handle. Okay. Now, sometimes you're like, yeah, well, you know what? I really don't want to handle this. Well, it is. It is what it is what it is. The high priestess is an oracle of sorts. So listening to your, um, you know, your third eye, your gut, your crown chakras, you know, this is where you just say, I don't know why I believe. I just have to believe. I just, I am being pulled along this path. Okay. So it's a, it's a really big, like, it's like me, you know, 2018. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing, but I have to do it. Okay, so this is Archangel Heniel. This is powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Be at peace. Your last card here. The moon. The moon. Now, 0, 2, 1, 8. 1, new beginnings. 10, transition. We have that 0 in the 10. We have an 8, unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. 1 plus 8 is a 9. Numbers mean things. Numbers mean things. And, you know, they've been used too much on the darker side, so we are using them for the light. 9 is, let's wrap it up. You have everything you need. So the moon, we have again Archangel Heniel. I wish I knew more about Heniel, but I would say, my Pisces, look up Heniel, comment, and let me know more about what you find out with Heniel, okay? So Archangel Heniel is very strong here right now. Very strong energy purpose for you. The moon, we have a new moon on the 18th. Oh, and it's on, I, I'm sorry, it's the 28th, but this is the 18th. So there is a connection with that, but there is that new moon energy. Some things are hidden. Remember, the high priestess doesn't tell you everything. Doesn't tell you everything. Some, A lot of it, you have to go by faith. You just have to just say, okay. I'm doing this. But the new the the full moon does give you this opportunity to make things better. The the I mean I'm sorry, I shouldn't say the full moon. This is the moon. The moon does give you the opportunity to believe in something more. Now I don't I never say to worship the moon. I look at it as a divine creation, so I use it as a tool, just as these cards are a tool. But the moon does have an effect on us. And my Pisces, you are water based. So you, this does have a, an effect on your psyche, your spirituality, your, even your physicality, okay? So the moon does affect you. Again, it's a good time to connect with the spiritual. It's a good time to connect. And I do feel like maybe, maybe you might start even having some dreams. Um, you know, there's some weird stuff going on. Maybe you're going to have some dreams with people that have passed, um, people that want to give you messages, don't be alarmed, don't be afraid of them, especially if they're loved ones. Uh, you know, just take a look and, you know, just, just listen. Just say, okay, is there something you want to tell me type of thing. So highly spiritual type of energy for you. Major possibilities happening too. Anyway, now my sister, who does see people that have passed, she'll always tell you, this is an aside, she will always tell you, look down. She never sees their feet because they're not grounded to the earth anymore. So just just throwing that out there for whoever might need to hear that. She always yells at me because when I've had that happen, I'm almost like, you still dead? Yeah. Am I dead? No. So, okay, that's an aside. Just sharing that with you. <laughs> She's like, don't ask them that. Don't ask them about you. It's like, well, I want to know <laughs> if they're talking to me. Anyway, anyway, the opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. So, you know, let, again, to my Pisces, let me know who this belongs to just because, um, you know, like I said, the, 
something popped about you know seeing from seeing beyond the veil, seeing the other side, seeing in that other portal. So let me know. Comment below. Comment below. I'm always interested in how this uh, connects. Anyway, let's see. Guardian Angels, what do you have? Now, I had one other um, reading. Was it, I think, I don't know. It might have been Aries. No, I don't know who it was. But they had all three, and they actually had a fourth major arcana. So I would say, please check your, um, you know, your birth chart and check the rising, ascending, moon, Jupiter, Venus, Mars, Mercury. <laughs> you know, do some cross-watching, okay, to see. Anyway, because this is it hasn't been these haven't been coming up that uh, that much lately. Okay, let's see what guardian angels have to say for my Pisces. Eight of thought. Interesting with that. Okay, so eight again, unlimited opportunities, possibilities. Thought is our air energy. That is our Aquarius. It is our Gemini. It is our Libra energy. So. It's thinking things out, thinking things through. Now, the eight of thought, though, is about, remember I said there's more out there, more to come for you. You have to go. You have to make those decisions because the eight of thought is you keeping yourself from that. You may feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. And remember, Saturn is in Aquarius. Illusion versus reality. So... Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. Oh, I love that. I love that. You, yeah, you can free yourself. You can free yourself. And I see more happening for you. Positive stuff, my Pisces. Positive things. Yeah, we're living in a world that who knows what's going to happen in the world, but... We still live, we need to live our lives day by day. Okay? Okay. So, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. More to come. Anyway, let's see what we have here. What crystal or energy would be helpful for my Pisces? Yes, here we go. Here we go. I enjoyed our, I enjoyed our visit here. <laughs> I should always like, I want to know, am I dead now? Okay, here we go. Amatrine. Amethyst and citrine. Spiritual guidance. Ooh, angelic realms. Clears stress. Truths revealed. Woo, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, my Pisces, please comment. Let me know. Let me know who, who this resonates for. Okay, take a moment to, to like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. As always, though, my Pisces, most importantly, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.